Public Library. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about flower arranging. Uh, the holidays are coming up and what's popular now is to do tablescapes and use some fresh flower in the set of silks and do some holiday arrangements. So today I'm gonna to share with you a little bit. Um, I have some nonfiction books. This one's called Handpicked. We have the flower workshop. We have floristry. And we have two of my favorites, seasonal flower arranging and a year in flowers. And they're all available here at the library. A fresh flower arrangement always begins with a container. So you can use the smaller the container, the less number of flowers you'll actually need. But you can use uh, china vases from your set already for your tablescape, or you can use something like a mug. You can use a small teapot. Um, or you can just use a pot that you have at home or a teacup. This one I've prepped with Oasis. That's one of the things that you'll need for sure is a block of Oasis. And you'll also need floral tape. Those are two things that are a must. Think about your container. And remember, the bigger the container, the more flowers you're going to need. And you'll also need to weight down your container. Think about it. You can't have something top heavy with nothing in a container. Water only weighs so much and Oasis is very light. So if you really have heavy flowers or woody stems, you're gonna to have to weigh down your container with glass beads. So after you've decided what container you're going to use and you prep that container with floral tape, glass beads, and Oasis, you'll have to think about what flowers you want to use as your focal point. So really, you're going to pick some star flowers or something with a color that you want to be your focal point. And then you're gonna to have to worry about your contrast. And that's basically all your foliage that you're gonna use for fill. And that's where you start. Sometimes you can do that. If you can't find ferns at the local florist or find some foliage you want, look at, you can look in your yard, you can look at some house plants that you have. So one of the things that I sometimes do is trim back my ivy and start with that is my green foliage as my starting point. In this arrangement here, I found some florist ready foliage and I started with that. Then I added the second focal point that I wanted was some berries and then my flowers of interest were my roses. And remember your focal point flower is usually a slightly off center. One final tip, when you think you're done with your flower arranging, step back for a few minutes and look at it from all angles and then proceed to fill with what you have left if you need anything, but you'll know that point to where it gets perfect and you're really happy and satisfied with the arrangement. So good luck with your flower arranging for the holidays and come to the library and check out all the books that we have about creative flower arranging. Thank you.